The dog's husband was beaten to death. She wanted to starve herself without eating or drinking. The dog's name is Mildy. They have good owners and live happily. However, the dog thief poisoned the dog's husband and killed him. The dog thief ran away in fear because the husband's wailing alarmed the owner. But the husband was poisoned too deeply. Milady has since fallen into grief, unable to extricate himself from it. Even if the owner prepares her favorite food, Milady doesn't want to eat either. She was lying on the ground on hunger strike, often crying secretly, trying to go with her husband. The hardest night, she stared into the distance hoping to see her husband. But what you see is disappointment. Quietness is the easiest to make people sad. She lost her beloved partner, crying at night with a headache, and sleepless nights. Every night loneliness drowns it like a tide. Family asks veterinarian for help. Veterinarians say dogs are the most emotional animals. She lost her partner, no one to talk to, can only bear the sadness alone. Vet tried to get close to Milady but she was horrified by dog thieves. She collapsed weakly and seemed to accept her fate. A veterinarian makes a small nose sleeve over the mouth. He said that dogs communicate through nose touch. He wanted to use a fake nose to tell Milady he wasn't alone. Tell her everyone wants her to be strong. But that backfired, and Milady was a little scared of the vets. Maybe she's afraid of humans. It's possible that the dog thief looks a lot like a veterinarian. Veterinarian sighs that dog is too sad. This method doesn't work. They try to get the dog out. The dog's eyes are full of fear but give up the struggle. Her heart is dead. Finally, with the help of the owner, Milady was taken out of the kennel. Veterinarian says owner is the person a dog trusts most. They only feel safe when they are with their masters. Putting it in a cold kennel will only make it more lonely. Owners can soothe their dog's heartache. Owner's comfort can help dogs out of grief. The master strokes Milady gently. Tell her she won't leave no matter what happens. Milady seems to understand. Slowly stabilized. The next morning the owner prepares food for her. Milady actually ate it. The owner cried happily. The master did not comfort her in time when he needed it most, but let her be lonely and sad. The owner blames herself. The veterinarian said there is a process for the recovery of the dog. Owners can let their dogs live in their rooms during grieving periods. I hope that the dog can get out of the haze as soon as possible with the company of the owner.